wordpress.com and quirkybooks.net. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please do, because you'll be hearing more life hacks about how to live your best life, be your best self, embrace your quirky and live your purpose. So if you want that type of information, subscribe now. Today's video, I'm talking to you about just doing it. So what I mean by that is if you've got um, a message that you want to get out to the world, if you've got a piece of artwork, if you've got a creative pursuit and you just want to get it out there, just do it. Don't hold back. Just set some goals, take action on them and just do it. You know, without any action, all it will be is a dream. And carrying on with the theme from last time of perfectionism, you know, nothing is perfect. Someone will always criticize you because they don't agree with the way you've done things, your style, your tone of voice, but you can't be anything or anyone other than yourself. You know, you don't want to be living someone else's life, you want to be living your life. So I got this free book from this entrepreneur guy and all I could do when I read it for the first time is think and criticize all the spelling mistakes, all the grammar errors and all the copy and pasting errors because sometimes there was a sentence and it was like the sentence had words that were just repeated. So it was like they copied and pasted the sentence and copied pasted part of the same sentence. And again, it was really bad and that's all I saw. And, you know, I, I told you before in the last video that I was a perfectionist. I'm trying not to be uh, such a perfectionist anymore. I've given up being a perfectionist in my head, even though I'm still trying my best because I want to get more work out there for people. I want to help more people. And I can't do that if all the time is I'm just worried about what I'm doing. So this guy is a really top entrepreneur. You know, loads of people respect him. He was uh, on TV in America as a wealth dragon as well. So he really knows his stuff. And the content itself was great. And then I went back to it months later and reread the whole thing. And do you know what? I didn't even notice as many spelling errors or grammar errors. My brain was going over those because I'd free myself of, you know, these chains of perfectionism because I'd freed myself of that. It was very freeing when I read someone else's book because my I was consciously sort of looking at the value that it provided all the information that would enhance my life rather than focusing on all the negative bits like the spelling errors and grammar errors. So my advice to you is look at yourself, you know, take a good look at yourself, ask yourself, are you a perfectionist? Are you self-critical? And does that make you really self-critical of other people? Does that make you see the negative things in life rather than focusing on the positive things? So rather than focusing on what the lack of, like the lack of proper punctuation, the lack of proper grammar, you know, the, the lack of sentence structure that you would expect, especially from such a high powered entrepreneur, that, you know, are you focusing on all that negative stuff? Or are you focusing on the positive stuff, like all the new strategies they brought into your life and, and all the new ways of doing things and things you hadn't thought about to help you in your life. Often the way we treat other people or think about other people is a reflection on us, not all the time, but usually, even if there's a bad person, you know, how quickly can you get that bad person out of your life? If they're bad and bad to you, it's how much abuse do you take? So even if you look at someone in a critical way, the best thing to think is, fine, that person, is okay in their own right even if they're horrible if that's the way they want to be but I'm not taking that that's I'm not sitting standing for it I'm not being abused so I'm leaving that person I'm taking them out of my life so you've literally minimized the negativity got rid of it and then you're having positivity in your life so obviously there are situations that call for you to be critical in terms of you know finding out what's good for you but what I'm saying is, are you focused so much on being a perfectionist and being self-critical that that is then translating into how you are viewing other people and what they do? There's nothing wrong with having standards, but if it's holding you back and you're literally sat there procrastinating and not getting anything done in life, I am a person that used to do this a lot and I'm trying to get myself out of it because otherwise my productivity is just low and I need to bump it up a bit 
in order to get my message out to the world to help people. So I hope that's been helpful to you. I hope you can relate on some ways. Um, until next time, live your purpose, embrace your quirky and each other's, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.